That's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. So it would seem. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. Why is the rum always gone? I see my ship right there. Can't spot it. Must be a tiny little thing hiding somewhere behind the pearl. <laughs> That's not very nice. You know that feeling you get sometimes when you're standing in a high place? Sudden urge to jump? I don't have it. Lost belt that never learned to fly. Never too late to learn, eh? I have every faith in your reconciliatory navigational skills, Master Gibbs. Now, where is that monkey? I want to shoot something. <laughs> This intuitive sense of the female creature informs me that you are troubled. I just thought I'd be married by now. I'm so ready to be married. One, because it is a vile drink that turns even the most respectable men into complete scoundrels. Two, that signal is over a thousand feet high. The entire Royal Navy is out looking for me. Do you really think that there is even the slightest chance that they won't see it? But why is the rum gone? I need those chalices. Shoot. Save me the bother of the fall. Don't blame Turner. He was merely the tool of your betrayal. If you wish to see its grand architect, look to your left. You seem somewhat familiar. Have I threatened you before? I have heard of you. And you know who I am. The face is familiar. Have I threatened you before? My hands are clean in this. If we don't have the key, we can't open whatever it is we don't have that it unlocks. So what purpose would be served in finding whatever need be unlocked, which we don't have, without first having found the key what unlocks it? You were in the presence of George Augustus, Duke of Brunswick, Nuremberg, Arch-Treasurer and Prince-Elector of the Holy Roman Empire, King of Great Britain and Ireland, and of you. Doesn't ring a bell. So, we're going after this key. You're not making any sense at all. This dock is off limits to civilians. I'm terribly sorry, I didn't know. If I see one, I shall inform you immediately. As you may well know, there are times, almost constantly in fact, where I prefer to look at the world through the bottom of a glass. Rub. Something like this. Man the yard! 
Guard your filthy toes! I will not have some melancholy Spanish monarch, a Catholic, gain eternal life! You do. Is this a dream? No. I thought not. If it were, they'd be run. It's a shilling to tie up your boat at the dock. And I shall need to know your name. What do you say to three shillings? And we forget the name. <gasps> Why did I bother coming to you? The dead are hunting us down and you do nothing. Nothing? You call this nothing? You're drunk and you're sleeping. My point exactly. I am doing two things at once. Welcome to Port Royal, Mr. Smith. Like it or not, Jack, you're going to help me. I will break my father's curse. Next time you raise a sword, boy. Be the last to die. How is it we can never meet without you pointing something at me? You will always remember this as the day that you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. <gasps> the rum. Please. I do deserve it. Do you have any idea how difficult it was to catch that filthy pig? Not the big one, the four-legged one. fight against them, they will fight against you, all on account of him wanting to kill him? Where is the sense? Exactly. Race and sheep! We would race and sheep! All the penalty line! All the penalty line! What are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? I say, let them fight each other. Or we lay back, watch, have a drink, pay some wages. Hey! So whose fault is it, really, that you've ended up a rum pot deckhand what takes orders from pirates? Enough! <laughs> captain gives orders on the ship. The captain of this ship has given orders. My ship makes me captain. They be my charts. That makes you chart man. <laughs> Pirate. Does the sword make my bum look big? Yes! <laughs> Naughty! <laughs> Come 
Come to negotiate, eh? Have you, you slimy git? Look what I got. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? This ship cannot be crewed by two men. You'll never make it out of the bay. Sam. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Savvy. <laughs> And you can accomplish all this, can you? You may kill me, but you may never insult me. Who am I? I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow, isn't it? Captain Jack Sparrow, if you say. Captain, Captain Jack Sparrow. You are. Jack Sparrow. There should be a captain in there somewhere. Honest man, you can always trust to be dishonest. Honestly, it's the honest ones you want to watch out for. You're mad. Thank goodness for that, because if I wasn't, this would probably never work. Because you can never predict if they're going to do something incredibly stupid. And that was without even a single drop of rum. I've never been to Brussels. It is pronounced egregious. By the way, no. I've never actually met Pizarro, but I love his pie. I suppose you didn't deserve that one either. No, that one I deserve. You stole my boat. Actually. Borrowed. Borrowed without permission. Your Honor, my client is simply built different. Ah! Admit it, Jack. You still love me. If you had a sister and a dog, 
and choose the dog. This is the day that you will always remember as the day that you... We shall need a crossbow, an hourglass, three goats. One of us must learn to play the trumpet whilst the other one goes like this. I know a man with a goat. Good. I can go like this. Can you condemn an innocent man, a friend, to a lifetime of solitude in your name while you roam free? Yep. I am with child. Yours. I don't recall that we ever had... You were drunk! I've actually never been that drunk. Stop blowing holes in my shit! Oh, no, 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 no. And really bad, eh? Joe I gotta go. Jack! Dick!